Hi, so far we have been discussing the iterative formula, we have been discussing how to construct the transition matrix, but we have come to the conclusion that it's not going to work fine for all of the situations on the World Wide Web. And this is why the solution is to use the damping factor in the random surfer model. The damping factor is in the range 0 and 1, it is usually initialized to be 0.15. So we are going to construct the so-called page rank matrix or Google matrix, which is equals to 1 minus the damping factor times A, where A is the transition matrix we have been discussing. Plus, we have to multiply the damping factor by a given B matrix, which is an identity matrix. So in this case, the A is the transition matrix, M is the page rank matrix or the Google matrix, B is an identity matrix where all the items are equals to 1 and we have to multiply it by 1 divided by n where n is the number of websites or pages in the world wide web. And basically this M Google matrix is going to have the same properties as the A transition matrix. So it's going to be column stochastic. The sum of the values in a given column is going to be 1. Ok, but let's take a concrete look at this equation. We have two terms, 1 minus d times a. What does it mean? It means that most of the time, with 1 minus d probability, as you can see, d is very small, so 1 minus d is quite large. So in this case, with 85% probability, the surfer on the web will follow links in the given page it will visit one of the neighbors of the actual page. It means, for example, that if we are browsing our Camus on Wikipedia, with high probability and according to the damping factor, with 85%, we are going to click and navigate to a given neighbor, because there are several links within this given page. For example, I have managed to read everything about Albert Camus and I'm curious about his novels, The Stranger, so I'm going to click and going to browse it. Then I'm going to navigate to, ok, what is North Africa, where is it located, and I'm going to click there, ok. So this is why in this case, we are not going to navigate the distinct URLs, but we are going to click and follow links within that given page. So we have this Arbor Camus page and there is a link for example pointing to another page called Existentialism. Ok, we click it and going to read it again. For most of the times, 85% we are going to follow the links on the pages. Ok, and we are able to define it with the transition matrix as we have defined because the transition matrix is going to define the probability of following links on a given website. But then there's a little probability that the surfer is going to leave the actual page and navigate to another page. This is called a teleportation. What does it mean? Teleportation means that, for example, we are reading an article existentialism. And instead of following the links on the actual page, for example, World War II and so on, we are going to hit, for example, Udemy.com. So we are going to teleport to a different website with a different URL. And basically that part of the equation describes that behavior, that we leave the actual page and navigate to another one. This is the teleportation. What's very important that the surfer can visit whatever page, CNN.com, Udemy.com, Wikipedia.com. What's going to be the probability? We have N websites, so the probability of visiting a given website will be 1 divided by N. So that's why this B matrix is going to have all 1's and we have a term 1 divided by N. Because if we leave the actual page, we can visit all of the pages available. We can decide what to visit, Udemy.com, CNN.com, BBC.com, what's going to be the probability? 1 divided by N. So basically this Google matrix is going to have two parts. First part, when the surfer is going to follow the links on the actual page. And the second term of the equation describes when the surfer leaves the actual page. This is the teleportation phase basically. 
Okay, so this is why we need this damping factor. If the damping factor is 0 0.5, what does it mean? That there is 50% chance that the surfer will follow links within the website and 50% chance that the surfer will make a teleportation. Okay, but usually this damping factor is small, approximately 0 0.15. Okay. What's very important that this given M matrix is going to have the same feature as the matrix A. Okay, so if a given A matrix is positive and column stochastic matrix, then one is the largest eigenvalue, one is an eigenvalue with multiplicity one, and for the eigenvalue one, there exists a unique eigenvector with the sum of its entries equals to one. What does it mean? M is going to be a positive and column stochastic matrix and we are looking for the eigenvector where the eigenvalue is equals to 1. What does it mean? That the sum of all pages page rank is equals to 1. This is the so-called Perron Frobenius theorem states that if a matrix is positive and column stochastic, these are going to be the features. Basically the conclusion of Perron Frobenius theorem is that the sum of all web pages page rank is equals to 1. Okay, so this is how we construct the Google matrix. What do we have to do? We just have to construct according to this formula and we have to do the same what we have discussed in the previous lectures. We have to solve this eigenvalue eigenvector problem. So we have to find the eigenvector where the matrix is not the transition matrix but the updated Google matrix with the damping factor. And we know for certain because of the Perron Frobenius theorem, first of all, the eigenvector is going to store the page rank for the websites, and the sum of the entries in the eigenvector is going to be 1, which means that if we sum up all the websites' page rank, we end up with 1. Okay, that's all about Perron Frobenius theorem and Google Matrix. Thanks for watching.